Hello guys and welcome back to Mystery Bag Friday. So it has been a long time since we've done one of these and it is time to go back to doing these every Friday with something different in the bag every Friday. So let's get started. So yes, we're with a new bag now once again. Uh, yeah, a little bit different than last time, but we're gonna figure out what's in here. So the first thing that's in here Wow, a CD. Hmm. All right, so um, I went to this Christian concert, um, I think it was like four years ago, maybe. Three and a half years, four years. I think it was four years ago coming up though. And I went to this Christian concert in my city and I got this CD, so that's where that's from. So this is V Rose, she's not, um, I wouldn't she say she's like, famous famous but she's like good in the area of Christian music if you're into that kind of stuff so yeah uh, check her out she's got some pretty cool music and I got one of her CDs and got to saw her perform and stuff like that so yeah and we got a couple more CDs uh, these are just some more Christian CDs we collected over the years um, I thought it would be something cool to put in my mystery bag because you know you never know what you're gonna find in your mystery bag you know but anyway, that's why it's called Mystery Bag. But let's get back to the point of this. So this is Jeremy Camp, Seventh Day Slumber. Uh, let's see, I put two more CDs in here. All right. Another Jeremy Camp CD. And I, whoa, I think that's it for the CDs. Yeah, that's it in terms of the CDs. Uh, in the rest of this bag, I actually really don't know what's in the rest of this bag because this bag was kind of just given to me with some cool stuff in it. So this is going to be somewhat of a mystery for me, way more of a mystery for you guys because you honestly don't know what I'm about to pull out this bag, you know? <laughs> but anyway, we got... Huh. So this must have been an advertisement when I, this bag was given to me inside of the bag because, you know, when you have special events and stuff like that, you advertise stuff. So, what is this? Oh, I know what this is. This is a little, this is a little mouse pad thingy. So, um, when I'm at my desk over there, I can move my mouse around on this. That's cool. All right, pretty, pretty cool. Thank you, Pop Ward Law and Associates. Pop, pop, pop. I, I'm not. How do you say? Pay your pay. Hold it down. How do? You, I'm not sure how you say that, let's move on. <laughs> but yeah, cool mouse pad. All right, so the next thing we got. So this was the last day of school. My friend brought her, um, gosh, what are those things called where it prints the pictures? Anyway, she brought one of those cameras that prints the pictures because I forget I forget the name of those. And Polaroids, Polaroids, po Polaroids. <laughs> she brought her Polaroid on the last day of school and I took this picture, so I'm looking pretty chill, you know? Last day of second period, you know? Pretty chill, pretty chill. But yeah, I actually took, this was back on the first of this month, so that wasn't long ago. So yeah, that's pretty cool. That's something we found in there. Ooh, we got some tees, some golf tees, you know, because I, I'd be out there playing some golf. So that, this is pretty nice, actually. I got some cool golf tees to play with. And I also got a ball repair mark thingy, which is this thing right here. All right. Let's see, what else have we got in here? We got some more tees, you know, getting that golf game up. Uh, Kroger brand cheese on cheese crackers. Hmm. Eh, probably not going to eat those. I'm, doesn't look that great. Cheese on cheese. <laughs> eh, a little bit too cheesy. No way. All right. Wait a minute. Guys, I swear, I'm, I haven't seen half of this stuff in this bag before. Alright, apparently this is a pencil because you guys can see the lead on that. That's, that's so weird though. That's, that's weird that a pencil is... That's, that's, that's weird how they carved a pencil like that. I'm, I guess it's supposed to look like a normal pencil when you sharpen it, but... That's, how are you supposed to sharpen it for one? 
What the? I've never seen something like that before. That is one unique pencil. <laughs> this is gonna, this makes for a good mystery bag, you guys. We got some pens. Clickety clackety. Splickety splackety. You know, some pens, you know, some pens. All right. Uh, let's see, we're getting down to the bottom of the bag now. Okay, we got another pen. This is just all advertising, and we got a couple of golf balls in here. All right, I think that's it. A Nike 3, pretty cool. I'm gonna be playing with that. Hopefully don't, don't lose it on the course like I lose half of my golf balls. I got a Pinnacle 2 and a Max Fly 3. So, pretty cool, you guys. So that mystery bag was pretty interesting. Half of the stuff I didn't know that was in there. The other half of the stuff I put in there. And there was one last thing that was in the mystery bag. Uh, I didn't want to show it first because I think I've done this on a past mystery bag. But anyway, I've had this pillow for years. And the cool part about it, the reason why it has this cable, is because it's a speaker pillow. So, if you want to, you know, chill out, lay down, but listen to your music at the same time without having to wear your annoying, your annoying headphones or earbuds, plug up your phone and play that mixtape, you know, that's, that's how you're supposed to do with this, you know, so I'm, I'm going to call this the plug up your phone and play your mixtape pillow. So yeah, um, I've actually, I've had this for years and it still works. It's great. And the speaker's pretty good too, if you turn it up on the, all the way, so yeah, that's pretty cool. If I start a little bit, it's because I'm not used to doing Mystery Bag Fridays. It's been a couple months, and yeah, that's going to do it for this Mystery Bag Friday. So thank you guys for watching once again. You guys can subscribe, like, leave a comment, and cut peace out.